Oh man, not only the industry, or should I say the industry is at a hurt right now, not only the mechanics, mechanic shops, but also consumers. We're gonna talk about it. Let me get my stuff packed up so I can get into my car and we'll talk about it there. So, different setting. We are in the car this time. Hardly ever do conversations like this. But, uh, as I stated a second ago, the industry is probably going to be in hurt right now. Not only the industry, but customers and consumers. And this is mainly affecting... See, and this is like a, a domino effect, right? Because this starts out at the dealerships. Okay, there's, there's a system... There's systems dealerships use, which are uh, DMSs, okay? These are dealer management systems. Now, I'm going to talk about what happened, but what dealer management services or systems do, DMS, they are a program designed for dealerships to operate. Operate their sales department, operate their service department, operate their parts department. There's a whole bunch of... Uh, departments that rely on these services to run smoothly okay uh we use it on service side we use it to write up ROs. we use it for customer information uh history service history you know to see what's been done to the vehicle at our facility um we use it as a way to uh bill parts and and quote parts and order parts um our clock ins and our clock outs. Uh, what else? Cashing out tickets, man. It's just it, it's a whole process that this DMS, these DMSs, um, that we use. Uh, it's it, it's a whole. Without it, we won't be able to operate smoothly. Now there are a few that I know of. There's CDK, which we're talking about right now. There's Dealer Track, uh, Reynolds and Reynolds. As far as that, that's all I know right now. ADP, right? AD, well, I, I could I could have sworn CDK used to be ADP or vice versa or whatever. But how it's going to affect... So dealerships use this, right? Dealerships use this in order to get parts, sell work. Uh, what it is an ro when a, an ro is written that is a legal binding contract with the customer between the customer and the dealership repair facility whoever's using this dms okay so that's how we write up your complaint that's how a technician is is able to see what they need to do to diagnose your vehicle what repairs you want what services you want so on and so forth. In order for us to go through with some of these repairs, we need parts. Okay, parts department uses this service to bill out parts, look parts up, and order parts. Okay. Not only for service department, they use this service for customers that are on the back on the front parts counter that come in. They're not dealing with with you know the actual service shop they come in to buy a part they can't do that why can't they do that well cdk right now is currently down from what i've heard it got hacked how true that is i don't know but i'm just speaking from the way this is going to cause a domino effect okay customers can't buy parts they can't order parts aftermarket shops can't order or buy parts aftermarkets okay they can't buy oem parts this isn't just for nissan y'all know i work for nissan or not work for but i work for a nissan dealership um so it's not only dealers affected which i believe and i'm going based off of what uh 
check engine Chuck said. Fit about 15,000 dealerships affected by this that use CDK. I'm not sure if that number's true. That's just what I've heard. And I heard that this could take up to two weeks to resolve. Again, I don't know. That's what I heard. I My shop does not utilize CDK anymore. We used to. We don't anymore. We're on dealer track. So dealerships can't build parts, order parts, or nothing. Can't write up cars. And this is all, it's, everything's on a server. So, uh, and this has happened multiple times to where the server goes down. We can't do nothing because it's internet based. Can't do jack shit. Can't work line. We can't start working on a ticket. We can't run time for warranty. We can't close, close the line out. We can't do anything with it because it won't allow us to log in. So if you can't do anything because the server got hacked because something happened, aftermarket shops, body shops can't get OEM parts. They can't get OEM uh, body parts and mechanical parts and stuff like that. Aftermarket shops can't. Customers that work on their vehicles, their own vehicles, they can't come in and just order a part or, yeah, or they can't order a part off the back parts counter. Customers that were expected to wait one day, two days to overnight parts now are expected to wait a week, two weeks, three weeks, possibly, however long it takes. And then what's going to happen is every single part that was needed and ordered everywhere. This is going to cause a freaking nightmare. Even for the dealerships that don't utilize CDK. What's going to happen? The parts distribution, the PDCs that we order from, the parts di the distribution centers that we order from, they're going to be filling orders like crazy. Once the system comes up, being that we're on dealer track, if it says, oh, there's two at your PDC and the rest are in Tennessee, and we go to order it expecting overnight, but yet they're filling orders for other dealerships that have been waiting on these parts longer because it's on a first come, first serve, first come, first serve basis. We might get allocated to a different part of the country. So it's going to affect every single dealership. This shutdown is affecting every single dealership, not only dealerships, again, body shops and aftermarket shops and individuals that work on their own vehicles not only people who are working on their own vehicles but the customers that have their vehicles in for service that are waiting on their vehicles to be worked on waiting on their vehicles to be repaired and i didn't even think about it i didn't think about the effect it's going to have on the the other dealers that don't utilize cdk until i started talking about it right now now it's got me a little stressed because now I'm like, damn. So uh, moral of the story is for this video, if you have your vehicle at a repair facility and you're waiting on it to get repaired and they give you this, oh, well, our systems went down. More than likely their systems did go down, okay? You know, there's a, I, I always hear of customers getting mad because it's taking too long and you know, oh, we're just making up stories and we're putting them on the back burner and this and that. No, that's not true. There's been multiple times where Nissan has gone down. Where Nissan servers have gone down and it puts us at a standstill. And I can guarantee you as soon as y'all's parts come in, those repair facilities are going to do their best to get your vehicles in and out in a timely fashion. Now, us automotive technicians, holy smokes. What's going to happen if y'all can't bill hours? Are y'all's companies going to give y'all a guarantee? If you can't get parts, you can't make money. Ain't nobody going to get ain't nobody going to get paid. And we're coming up to the end of the month. End of the month for dealerships are big. Y'all going to be busy. 
we as a whole are always busy, but y'all gonna be busy once those parts start rolling in. But like I said, what are y'all's companies gonna do for y'all? Not only dealerships, but aftermarkets, body shops, stuff like that. What are y'all's companies gonna do for y'all? Aftermarkets, y'all have the opportunity to go to aftermarket O'Reilly, you know, the big box stores. We do too. Dealerships do too. But it's hard for dealerships to warranty stuff. And if it's warranty, if we're doing warranty repairs, we can't use we cannot utilize aftermarket parts, parts houses. So how do y'all feel about this? What are y'all gonna do? How y'all feel about it? What are y'all gonna do about it? What are y'all's y'all's companies gonna do about it? And what can we do to make this better? This is why technicians always get the short end of the stick. Because we have to we have to depend on so many areas to run smoothly that are out of our control in order for us to get paid for the week. And I'm only speaking about this because I've been seeing it everywhere. It's not in mainstream. I don't I don't think I've seen it on like the mainstream news or anything. But it's an issue. And what what needs to be done? What needs to be done? Because technicians rely heavily on this. This is why we're always complaining about certain things because we need so many, so many things to run smoothly in order for us to make a check. We can't just sit here, milk a clock and get paid. No, that's not how it works for technicians. If we ain't turning the wrench, we ain't earning shit. If you ain't turning, you ain't earning. Bottom line. But I hope all of y'all pull through. I hope y'all don't y'all aren't affected by this too much. And uh, I think we're gonna talk about this on the live stream. So because this is the day before live stream. So if the live stream is already up before this video goes out, either way, I will have a video somewhere at the end of this video for y'all to watch that live stream. If y'all could please go check it out. And see what me and the other guys talk about. Because I pull in a panel. We talk as a group. And uh, we're going we to hit this topic hard. We're going to hit this topic hard. Anyways, road to 100K. Let's get it. It's your boy Fluff. We out. Deuce. Right there. Oxidation on the drop bell. i do a video on this. All right, so this is your... They did not approve these. Is there sufficient pressure for the... Well, I got a whole bunch of parts right there. And then I bought this one because it was a special edition one time.